Hey there. Hey, listen, are you the kind of person that holds a grudge? Are you? No? Well, I am. Yeah. I hold a grudge forever. Forever. I probably have, I don't know, a dozen grudges floating around in my psyche right now. I never counted them all up, but it's something like that. 12, maybe 20, I don't know. I, but I never, I don't forget grudges. A lot of people say, they say, uh, forgive and forget. But none of the people that say that are me. No, I say remember. Remember and let it fester. That's my philosophy. That's my motto. Remember and let it fester. I'll give you an example. In high school, Ben Gibson sold me a car for $300. That was a lot of money back then. And the car was worthless. A piece of junk broke a couple days later. Never. So, and Ben Gibson sold me that car for I think it was Ben Gibson. It might have been, might have been Jack Armstrong. I get my grudges mixed up sometimes. But uh, I have grudges going back all the way to kindergarten. In kindergarten, Beverly Thurston told the teacher that I broke her crayon, right? Her brick red crayon, which I had. I had broken it. I wanted, needed brick red. She wouldn't let me borrow it. It's the only reason I broke it, because I was angry. And... Uh, but she shouldn't have told the teacher. I needed brick red. I needed had a wall and uh, a brick wall, and and I had to use regular red. It looked stupid. But anyway, she ratted me out. She should not have ratted me out to the teacher for that. You just don't do that kind of thing. Anyway, a few years later, I remember this in eighth grade. Beverly Thurston was having a party, a birthday party at her house. But it was going to be everybody's first nighttime party, a Saturday night, where there's going to be a rock and roll band there and everything. And but I couldn't go after what she did to me. In kindergarten, I wasn't about to go. Everybody went, every, everybody went. They said it, they had a blast, but I, I couldn't go. I, never, I don't forget. I take that back. Sometimes, you know what I forget? Sometimes I forget what the grudge is about, what the person did to me. But I don't forget the grudge. I forget what the grudge, the reason for the grudge. But there must have been something for me to hold such a serious grudge, or else I wouldn't, you know, have that grudge. I'll give you a good, good example of this. In uh, a little a college, right around that, Tommy Spiesbeck did something to me, which I don't remember what it was, but I still I want to get even. And all these years, like 40 years, and I, I still want to get even. And then I, about, I recently heard that Tommy Spiesbeck died. He's dead. He died about 10 years ago. And now all I can think is, when I get to heaven, I'm going to track him down. And it's going to be payback time. It's going to be a bad day in heaven for Tommy Spiesbeck when he sees me coming. But now, you know, when I think about it, he probably he might have even gone to hell. I mean, if he was doing that, the kind of thing he did to me, whatever it was, if he's doing that to other people, he might have gone to hell. So maybe I should do this. Here's what I'm going to do, I think. I'm going to, when I get to heaven, if they try to send me to heaven, I'm going to say at the door there, at the gate, I'm going to say, is, hey, is Tommy Spiesbeck inside there? And if they say no, I'm going to say, Send me to hell. Send me to hell. And not forever. I don't want to go to hell forever. Just not for eternity. Just for six months. Give me six months in hell to find Tommy Spee's back and, you know, do what i got to do. And I'll find him. You know, he probably won't even recognize me after ten years in hell. It probably seems like a long time. But he, might, he, probably, he won't even remember what he did. Like I said, I don't remember what it was. It was a long time ago. But... I'll tell you this, if Tommy Spiesbeck tries to apologize, I'm going to tell him I'm not interested in any stupid apology. I'm going to get my vengeance and I'm going to go back to heaven. So that's that. Um, I hope you feel like you got something out of this. And uh, I, if you know what's good for you, you'll s subscribe and like and whatever else to do. Say, in the comments, say hello down below. Thanks again. Bye.